Hello my soccer universe. Well, 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 another international break is over and World Cup qualifier. We have the first two teams qualified for the World Cup. The guys from Germany and the guys from Denmark. England almost made it, but you know, they needed a win and anyway, we have two qualified teams already and hence I'm wearing Denmark. Yes, they beat Austria, but given how easy that win won was, just as an illustration, uh, yes, it was only a 1-0 scoreline, but I think uh, um, Kaspar Schmeichel could have well have pitched the tent, made a barbecue and relaxed the entire evening because there was no shot on goal whatsoever coming. And yeah, whatever Austria did maybe well in defense and don't give me the excuse that there were players missing because there were still good enough players on there. It was another sign of how bad things have gone for Austria. So yeah, I'm actually quite happily wearing this Denmark shirt because uh, they're an amazing team. Still have not conceded, still have not uh, dropped points in qualification. Uh, and as for Germany, as the other game I watched, I mean, those were the two games I, I watched. Um, I expected maybe a little bit more resistance for 15 minutes. I thought the game was even then Germany took over. And in the end, I think 68 minute when we, uh, Werner, of all people, made the second goal. I switched over to another game. So that was it for me. Um, I have to say my choices for games were rather poor uh, <laughs> this time around. Uh, and yeah, I, there was for me not the standard fixture and the one standard fixture that I really had, which was Albania against Poland, I completely missed in a way. So yeah, so be it. I would say let's run through the results from match day eight. Um, where, you know, Czechs and Wales keep on winning. Turkey getting a last minute <laughs> penalty victory over Latvia, who actually had the lead. So they just about stay in the race for the second spot. Um, I don't think they have a chance uh, still um, to qualify. Uh, let me just see. Uh, it is four points. So, I mean, theoretically, they could still end up in first spot. But this is rather unlikely that Dutch rolling over 6-0 over Gibraltar what else was expected um, Memphis Depay even missed a penalty however he scores uh, I think two if not three more goals two two more goals and yeah there were some nice moves in there I thought the most interesting thing was the Gibraltar away jersey Norway also beating Montenegro um, a big uh, result in group H which is then the Croatia Slovakia game is the one that I then followed when I switched over from Germany where Slovakia in the first half had twice the lead through Schranz and then just before the half in Harajdin, Kramaric had equalized for, for, for Croatia, then Modric with a free kick gets them a second equalized in 71st and then Vlasic seemingly had scored the winner but he was just by a fraction of side. This was just such a ping pong goal. And yeah, uh, that is a little bit trouble for Croatia because Russia uh, get into a lead quickly in Slovenia. Um, they pull one back, but Russia hang on to that. And if you will see my stats cast, you will see that Russia is now uh, spot on to move forward and win uh, this group. However, they still have the game against Croatia uh, in Croatia uh, there. So uh, that's a big one coming up. And that's in the last round of games. Okay, moving on to uh, the next set of games. Yes, um, Germany. 4-0 over North Macedonia, as I said already, um, it was only a, ma a matter of time. Uh, Germany did not have the, you know, the big uh, thrust going forward in uh, the first half. However, they had enough chances to take the lead. I was actually annoyed by the German commentators there uh, a whole lot. Um, but that Germany already having lost to North Macedonia at home is already qualified after eight match days pretty much tells you how weak that group actually was and we saw it from 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 the get-go i mean it's actually bad for germany that they lost a game in that that group because this group is uh rather a joke although there's a tight race for this last spot where iceland with a four nil over Liechtenstein, maybe uh, will have half a word maybe they can get in there with romania and armenia uh in group d yesterday uh I was celebrating the win by Ukraine over Finland. No, Ukraine can still not win. 1-1 one, one over uh, Bosnia and Finland is back on track. So uh, basically France is the big winner there because they improved the chances even without having played in qualifying. Portugal, 5-0 um, over Luxembourg with three Cristiano goals. The first two penalties, one had, had to be taken. The best goal was 
uh, Bernardo Silva, Bruno Fernandes, uh, co-production. That was a really nicely played goal. Um, we will see that egg actually the win over Serbia. Um, a little bit dented the hopes uh, over us, Azerbaijan. A little bit dented the hopes for Port Port Portugal because now Serbia probably, you know, there's a head to head. It could make it uh, dangerous. A uh, big win for Sweden over Greece, which all but eliminated um, Greece from contention for the second spot. But Sweden is now leapfrogging Spain and having a slight advantage there. Um, it is still kind of tight. Uh, Spain still odds on to finish first in in, in the Cup of Spain, uh, but Sweden having a pretty good chance of qualifying as well. And this will be a mega a mega matchup between um, Spain and Sweden, which is also in the last round of games. So uh, one definitely to uh, look out for there. Okay, uh, let's look at the next fixtures. Sorry, I'm a little bit organized here. Um, we have Bulgaria getting a win over Northern Ireland, Switzerland a big one over Lithuania and that actually keeps Switzerland now full in play, they are level on points with Italy and just two goals behind in goal difference, head to head. Uh, whoever wins that game will go to the World Cup. Uh, if there's a draw, I think it will be tricky because Italy has to go to Northern Ireland and Switzerland will have a home game against Bulgaria. So I, if I'm Italy, I definitely would want to have uh, win in that game because I don't think if I can rely on winning in Northern Ireland on a rainy night in November. That does not sound like it. I already said Denmark, Austria, everything that I need, I, I need to say. Scotland, <laughs> from what I hear, I didn't see any, anything, but they were lucky to get this win on the Faroe Islands, but that keeps them in check. They are now odds on uh, to finish in the second spot and the playoff spot with four points ahead of Israel. One more win. And second uh, spot is all is guaranteed, uh, and then also a big result in uh, Group um, I. I was about to say I. I just didn't want to get it <laughs> wrong. Uh, with Poland winning in Albania, uh, a rather you know nervy, testy game. Uh, lots of uh, fighting. Poland kind of asserting themselves. Then in the second half. Uh, the goal comes relatively late in the 77th through Swiderski, who then kind of celebrates in front of the crowd and is pelted with bottles. So uh, not uh, nice scenes. I read already not nice scenes in at Wembley where the uh, police and the Hungarian fans got into each other a little bit on the field. Rather disappointing. 1-1 one, one for England over Hungary. Just a month ago, England mauled Hungary in Budapest. So... Uh, yeah, a few questions are being asked, but you know, in the end, does it really matter? Because England will qual qualify. The next game, I think, is in San Marino, and that will see England easily go through to uh, the World Cup. But yeah, uh, that basically settles it. I'm uh, just looking here over the next set of games, but the big one is definitely Italy, Switzerland. That's the one uh, to watch out for. For uh, da, 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 just quickly over now, nah, I know the next thing for England is, is at uh, is at home to Albania, and then they play San, San, San Marino, and that is basically it. So we have uh, quite a few uh, good matches on the last match day. Uh, Spain has to go to Greece, that might also be a trip up game. In any case, let me know what you thought about the World Cup qualifiers uh, now on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, where you th uh, think things will be going. Um, I will post a stats cast, uh, kind of uh, also talking a little bit about winners and losers uh, that will be in there. The big winners of this round are up here. Uh, <laughs> Russia, Poland and Sweden, uh, they definitely increase the chances of qualifying. Will they qualify? That remains to be seen. In any case, thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay up to with everything that happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.